Hello friends, I hope you guys are doing well. Welcome to another vlog. And if you are from Patreon, hi! You guys get to see these videos up to a week before the video actually goes up for everybody else. So if you are from Patreon and you're seeing this for the first time, hello, thank you for joining. And um, if you want to know what I have on my Patreon, it's pretty fun. You can check the link down below. There's a lot of cool secrets, not so secret. I would love for you guys to join. Um, perks, like behind the scenes stuff. We have a private Discord that is super, super exciting. I'm on there every day, so check that out. Um, so yes, today's vlog is actually supposed to cover the main event tomorrow, but since I'm gonna pick the costumes today after I tidy up the house, it's quite a mess. Like, it looks kind of crowded here, but the other side, which is my side, this is like Sal's side, so it's generally like well put together, but my side is quite a mess. and extends to this side so I, I take up like 90% of the house poor Sal has like 10% of the house but you know we're okay with this we're okay with this I have way too much crap so yes this video is supposed to cover tomorrow's photo shoot but I'm gonna be putting together the costumes today so I'm basically going to combine some costumes and accessories that I've shot with before so combining different designers together and this shoot was totally not planned um, we are still waiting for a lot of uh, costumes and collaboration stuff to arrive from mostly Europe and the UK. Things from the US get here pretty quickly, so as we wait and we have kind of nothing new to shoot, um, we decided to put together a shoot for tomorrow because it's going to be really hot, but we're going to kind of start earlier in the morning and um, see where we go. It's just last minute you know usually for these shoots i plan a couple of days ahead i'm also going to be taking some polaroid pictures of tomorrow's looks because i'm going to be using them either on etsy but definitely going to be using them for this monthly patreon uh polaroid subscription tier so there is there are two tiers actually on my patreon um and i've added like a, a middle tier before the highest tier because previously i asked some of the the people on Discord, uh, what they thought about kind of creating like a middle tier that doesn't have um, a monthly print, but it has something that's smaller to ship so that I can make it a bit cheaper. So we came up with the idea of having a one tier below the highest tier that I currently have and you get monthly Polaroid pictures, which I think I love Polaroid so much. Like it's just so beautiful knowing that only one of those images from that one moment exists. Polaroid pictures are just so meaningful um, when they're done correctly, not when they're printed on those like automatic prints. Like you, you send a picture from your phone and it prints it on a Polaroid sheet. I don't know, I've always had a little bit of something against those because I love the idea of just taking the Polaroid picture right there with a Polaroid camera. Um, I guess I'm a little bit of a hipster when it comes to that, but no, I love, I love Polaroid pictures. So one of the, actually two of the tiers, um, that one tier before the highest tier and the highest tier, both of those tiers, uh, you will get a monthly Polaroid picture from one of the looks that I did either that month or one that you haven't received before. So, um, yeah, I think that's super fun and it's a very special tier because you get like a monthly thing um, every month. So I think that's exciting. And the highest tier is still, um, you get to, you get the monthly Polaroid picture, plus you get to pick any image you like, and it gets printed the same size as my Etsy 6x8 in a framed envelope with all of the usual Etsy goodies. So you actually get like an Etsy purchase each month plus a Polaroid and so yeah those are the two highest tiers I thought I should mention because tomorrow I'm gonna be doing some Polaroid pictures too. So today not much happened I just ran some errands and I went and I checked on my PO box I tend to do that before COVID I used to do that like once every week week and a half but now since COVID um, I do it once every like month and uh, usually if I have packages they keep it for me for as long as they can until I go pick it up so Today I went after quite a long time to check on my P.O. box. It's been probably like three months since I checked the P.O. box because I know that nothing really was coming my way. Usually people, when they want to send even cards, they like, let me know we're going to send you something so that I kind of keep an eye out on it. But um, I received a really beautiful, very sweet Baphomet statue. They know me. People know me. So <laughs> this is perfect. Um, I'm going to put this somewhere on my 
in my studio, in my space. As I said, this is cells. It's very floral, um, not floral, but like a lot of green, a lot of guitars, a lot of amps behind that couch thingy. This is so comfortable. If you manage to find one of these beanbag things, definitely get it because we just like throw this around the house. The cats love it. We love it. Um, everyone just loves it. It's just so ugly. You know, it's just, it's just so hideous, you know, that it's just a shapeless thing. Other than looking absolutely terrible, it's an amazing uh, couch, basically. And Luna is just here distracting me, biting me. I think she wants some attention. I have been out for a few hours and Sal's not home, so cats are lonely. Oh yeah, there is a balloon and some, <laughs> I don't know what those are, but some uh, decorative paper that Sal got when I was sleeping on my birthday, I woke up super late as I said I would. Um, she, hi, she went and decorated the entire house. It was awesome and obnoxious and I love it. It just balloons everywhere and like, like childish decorations and I love it. I love it. It's so sweet. I love it. That's, I haven't taken it off mostly because I'm quite lazy, but also because I kind of like it. It's, it's really sweet. We have so many like, um, dark gothic you know uh interesting pieces of like just decor around the house like upside down dried roses um another baphomet thing there an altar like all, all of this like a dragon and like gothic you know paintings of Inis guerrero on on my in my uh, office space so it's a lot of like darkness and then you see the balloons and it kind of just balances everything out so <laughs> Sal has definitely like um, softened my edges over the years and I like it I love having uh, plants in the house and like things that are alive and pretty and green and not black so yeah so I'm gonna tidy around and then I'm going to start kind of picking and choosing some um, different pieces to shoot for tomorrow's two looks there is a chance I'm gonna go with one look. I'm just gonna see, I'm gonna see what I can do. I'm aiming for two looks, two looks that are quite distinct from each other. With that being said, I will see you guys in a little bit. I don't know if I'll, I'll vlog the bit where I'm picking and choosing costumes, but I might. I will see you in the next part of the video, whether it's later today or tomorrow. We will see. Okay, bye. The next day. Hi friends, I hope you guys are doing well. Good morning, say hi mom. Hi mom. I picked two outfits to shoot for today and I didn't get a chance to record the process because it took me all the way up to 2 a.m. to get everything in the bag and pick the outfit and make sure it goes together. I had a lot of fun doing it actually. There's also a sword as well for the look and this is the makeup for today's shoot. The contacts are from pinkyparadise.com. They look very natural, very light. I really like it. It looks really cool from afar. And I have my camera with me, I got some the Polaroid camera with me as well and super excited to do this shoot. It's Vancouver is currently going through a heat wave so we're gonna try and shoot everything in maximum hour and a half and just get back home quickly and continue watching Netflix's Dark. I've This is my fourth time watching it and I've convinced my mom to watch it and she really loves it. And yeah, we're gonna do that today and I will take you guys along with me. Are you excited? No, I'm hot. You're hot, yeah, it's really hot. I turned off the AC just to record this part of the video, so, but it's warmer inside than it is outside, so I can understand, I'm like, I feel so like uncomfortable and warm. It's just, it's not the most fun. Uh, I don't like extreme heat or extreme cold. I just like kind of in the in the middle, but yeah, that's about it. Okay, I will see you guys when we're in the forest. Right, let's go. Are you excited? Yeah. Are you excited? Oh, yeah. We're gonna boil. Bye. I need coffee. I need coffee too. <laughs> let's go get coffee first. Okay, sure. <laughs> moments later so we made it to the forest and it's nice beautiful empty and it's actually kind of cold like yes, this is yes. the coolest i felt in the last couple of days so i'm very grateful for that oh yeah we're gonna start changing i mean i'm gonna start changing into the first outfit and i will show you guys what it looks like it's really exciting it involves swords and um it's just some costumes that i've shot with before but the first time i shot with it I didn't style it really the way that I wanted to style it 
and this time I'm styling it more close to kind of what I had in my head and I have some swords that my dad gave me so I'm gonna use those and that's about it I hope you guys enjoy the look and we will go and get changed I was so worried that it was gonna be boiling hot in here but this is like this is amazing that's about it we're gonna go much love I will see you guys bye much love, much love. This is the outfit for the first look. These are the accompanying swords for the outfit. These are very sharp, so I have to be very careful with like not cutting myself or not cutting my mom. But yeah, we, we put them in so many paddings to just bring it here safely. But no, this is the full outfit. We got some leg. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, this is the this is the full look and I hope you guys like it. My mom is currently on the ground. I wish I could oh, show her. Me. She's literally on her back <laughs> because she's taking the pictures from like a low angle. So I'm gonna be kind of posing this way for her. She's right there. And we'll see how it goes. <laughs> shooting this look and we're gonna take some Polaroid pictures now the Polaroid pictures are going to be the monthly prize of one of my tiers uh, two of my tiers actually on patreon if you want to get monthly uh, Polaroid pictures sent in the mail to you of photo shoots I've done that month that's a great way to get them and yeah so we're gonna take some of those pictures I picked that area with the yellow flowers I think maybe it'll look really nice and it's a nice sunny bright day ideal for taking Polaroid photos so I'm super excited for that and my mom she's um, she was rolling on the ground like a little warm but there there's some amazing pictures I'm so excited to play with them I'm her biggest fan she's my, I'm never sharing you with another you're my you're my favorite photographer ever my beautiful photographer 20 minutes later so this is the second look that I put together I already recorded this once and my camera decided to not work so I'm recording on the iPhone now sorry for the quality change um, the belt is by Trinux Couture. I will leave the link to everybody down below. The headpiece is by Gothmal and the claws are by Mural Jewels. I'm also going to later add a uh, mask to this look that's going to be by Mural Jewels as well. So it's going to be very like stylized like this. And um, the fangs are by Chaos Custom Fangs, which made these beautiful fangs. But yeah, this is the look. I hope that you guys enjoy it. We're going to go take some pictures of this look. And then we're going to also take some Polaroid photos for the uh, Patreon. And probably some are going to go on uh, up on Etsy. So check those out. And that's about it. I will see you guys in the middle of the video. Bye. 